Shelley, it was so close last time, but in the end, you weren't successful yet, and still here you are again, trying one more time. How come? I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on representing my community. Newport News really needs a new representative. We need change. We need somebody who's going to stand up and protect our education funding and protect us from gun violence and make some progress on gun safety and protect our environment and clean water and clean air. And I'm excited to have the opportunity to represent my community. And some of those issues, uh, I think our viewers on this TV station have seen some of your commercials, which would suggest that your campaign doesn't think that the incumbent is necessarily the best on those types of issues. Talk about that specifically. What If you thought he was that great, you wouldn't be running, right? <laughs> I just, I think the community needs somebody who will reliably stand up for them on issues like health care and women's health and even things like nonpartisan redistricting. We need consistency. And a lot of times with my opponent, we, we don't know where he stands on those issues. And I'm just excited to, to get up and represent the community of Newport News. Gun safety. Um, obviously, sadly, here on the South Side, that became personal on May 31st when we had the mass shooting. General Assembly went into session uh, special session and it lasted exactly less than 90 minutes and nothing was done. What do you think of that? I mean, th this is the difference between having Democratic control of the General Assembly, taking the majority, and having Republican control. If Democrats control and take the majority, we will have the votes to get many of these gun safety bills out of committee, out for a full, open, transparent vote. And we're talking about things like um, universal background checks, things like um, limiting magazine capacity and guns, um, banning bump stocks, things that the majority of Virginians want. Virginians want their legislators to protect them against gun violence. And you're right, I mean, the, the special session really was a, a travesty. If any of us went to work and didn't do our jobs, we would be fired. And that's why I think this is a really important election for Virginia voters. Things like gun safety are on the line this November. To their credit, Republican lawmakers say that the proper route uh, for any uh, legislation of this nature historically has been to send uh, bills to the State Crime Commission and let them in due time uh, study them appropriately uh, and not rush to judgment and just need your do some bill because there was some shooting. Citizens want action and um, all the polling shows that a majority of Virginians want action and because the Republicans have the majority in the House they've been able to stack these committees like the Militia Committee with more Republicans than Democrats so we we can't make, make progress. You know, we, we need change, we need innovation in Virginia. We can't just keep doing what we did in the past and expect to get a different result. As far as your race last time, and it came down literally to pulling a name out of a film canister in a bowl, what was that like to have been you personally? I mean, it had to not be great. <laughs> you know, I, I have um, a lot of strong support from my family and I, I feel lucky that they have my back. So it was hard to go through, but I just kept thinking, you know, this is about my community, this is about progress, and sometimes the arc of change is long, and um, it takes these things to remind people that every vote counts, you know, that, that your vote could be that one vote that keeps a dangerous weapon out of schools, or could be the one vote that gets teachers a pay raise. So there was a lesson that we all learned in the community about the importance of voting. Why do you think it's so close that e that district is so evenly divided? I mean, oftentimes we can look at it and say, oh, well, that's sort of a re reliably re uh, red district or that's sort of a reliably blue district, but yours seems to be vote, you know, divided right down the middle, 50 50. <laughs> How come? Um, I think that. Um, Younger people are coming out to vote more, so the mix of who we have as voters is really changing. And um, a lot of our um, community, they're more worldly 
They, they're more diverse than ever before, and young people are getting activated, and they, they want to participate. So um, I, I think it's going to be a good year for Democrats as long as young people come out and vote. What role does Trump play in all this? Well, not you, yours particularly, but I mean just generally yeah, in the elections. Yeah, I, I think we've seen across Virginia um, a little bit of the um, Trump uh, lack of um, decorum. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying I, to help you. With okay, yeah. Sorry, I have to start again. <laughs> but um, you know, I think President Trump is really sending a message down through the Republican Party that it's okay to um, have an alternate. Uh, reality to have your own facts and it's been really hard for voters to tell what's true and, and what's not true. Uh, I do think that Trump has served as a motivator for Democrats in Virginia because he his behavior has been so egregious and so corrupt that people now are really angry and so we, we see that when we knock on doors um, people are really upset with Donald Trump right now. And I think that is going to increase turnout, at least for young people and um, people who are not fans of Donald Trump. But that's just sort of an aside. I mean, that's not anything that is the heart and soul of your campaign, Trump. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're not talking about Donald Trump. We're trying to be positive about healthcare and the needs of the community. Um, I knew right away that prescription drug prices were an issue for people, so I went out and did some research on what other states are doing, and I found out that in Maryland, they, pri they passed a drug price affordability board, and that's legislation that I have ready to submit on day one when I'm a legislator because people are concerned about the skyrocketing cost of prescription drugs. And I think there's more that we can do about that in Virginia. And so when voters, if that's their issue and they're you know, trying to decide you know, which way they're gonna vote, you would encourage them not only to vote for yourself, but for Democrats and not for Republicans? Well, it's just because this is time for a change. You know, we, we have had um, Republican control of the legislature for quite a few years, and we see that we haven't gotten things done on gun safety. So if we want common sense gun safety reforms, yes, people are going to have to change their party um, their vote. But I, a lot of people out there will say, I vote about issues like health care. I vote for the person. So, you know, I think I think this is a great year for change. Okay. And so bottom line, if there's anybody out there watching this that still hadn't made up their mind, what would you encourage them? Just to, to dig in and look at the issues at hand. You know, I, I have some plans for health care. I have some plans for school construction around the state. Come to our website, ShellySimons.com. You know, I've got a lot of details there about things that I want to get done for the people of Newport News and Tidewater area in general.